So right now I'm on my way to what is supposedly the most difficult climb on the PCT. Um, yeah, we camped at like 1,000, or actually 2,400 feet or something. And today I'm going up to like 5,000 feet, um, but it goes all the way up to 8,000 feet. I think I'm gonna try to do 15 miles, just break it up a bit. Also, the hiker hunger has definitely kicked in and I'm eating so much food. I'm really full, so that's interesting. But I mean, for being such a hard climb, it's pretty beautiful, so I'm not complaining. There's San Jacinto, and all the way down there, you can see the trail follow it along. Over there. There's uh, Big Bear, I think, and then the trail goes back that way. Up here. So today, we <laughs> started out at mile 219. Yeah, 219. And 2,400 feet of elevation, about. And right now, we are at 239.9 and 79,000 feet of elevation. So today, we have done 20 miles <laughs> and nearly 5,600 feet of elevation, about. Um, and I think we crossed like, how many rivers would you say we crossed? I think at least 16, or like, crossings. It was the same river, Mission Creek, which is basically a river. Yeah, at least 20, probably. So our feet were wet all day. We took a couple siestas. We started out in the desert, and it was hot. And now, we're in the snow. So, a very interesting day. Now we're making dinner. Aaron's in his penthouse. <laughs> I'm cowboy camping. <laughs> Will it be a good decision? We'll see. <laughs> the trail. Big bear. Which we could see yesterday from way down below. Aaron taking the pictures. And look! We have trail! We did not have that pretty much all of yesterday. No. I didn't really take any videos of it, but it was gone. Just completely wiped out. We turned out. into Trail Finders 2.0 yesterday. Yeah. The flood and the fires. So many down trees. But we're back! Woo! Yay, little dirt path. <laughs> another day, another obstacle. Got some snow around mile 244. About. <laughs> Woohoo! breakfast and hopefully it'll warm up um, in that two hours or however long it takes me to get there so we'll see my legs are a little bit chilly and frozen but just gotta keep hiking so I'm at Little Bear Creek Spring right now and there is a picnic table 
and I'm about to make breakfast. I have so much love and appreciation for picnic tables. You have no idea. They're the best thing ever. They make me so happy. And I'm gonna have my oatmeal with these chocolate green superfood mix. Um, yeah, and I had some nuts and raisins already and a lot of bar, so. I'm so excited, woo! <laughs> One of the things that me, Second Chance, and Panda were talking about was how there are so many people this year vlogging their experiences on the trail. And yeah, there's a lot of vloggers. But also, um, I think it was Second Chance who said, you know, it's everyone experiences the trail differently. So your experience out here is uniquely tailored to you and everyone brings their own unique perspective and sees the trail in a different way and experiences it in a different way and so it's really cool to watch other people's vlogs of the same trail but from their point of view. Also, if you don't know who Second Chance is, I would highly recommend checking out his channel. He's incredibly inspiring with his story and just has such a positive attitude towards the trail, which is really <laughs> just incredible to watch. It's inspiring to see people you know, actively trying to turn their life around. You know, a lot of people out here are trying to escape or break free from the life that they've gotten so comfortable living and to just hear their story and meet them out here is amazing because you know starting starting the PCT is really the biggest accomplishment <laughs> because you got yourself to this point and made a dedication to yourself that you were going to go out and do this thing and so even if you don't make it to Canada just the very fact that you dragged your butt down to the Mexican border Campo and started hiking north is incredible so yeah um, and then also Panda check out his video on YouTube traveling panda without the G in traveling um, because he is an amazing photographer and videographer. So yeah, just some more cool people to follow along with. I just had the best morning ever. I woke up watched the sunrise from my sleeping bag, made a bagel with almond butter, and ate some chocolate and some nuts, breakfast of champions, and then I stretched and did some core exercises and some push-ups and drank some water, and now I'm headed off, and oh, I'm absolutely in love with my life. It was the best morning ever. Yeah. Time to hike. Just rounded the corner. Mile 300 PCT. 2,350 left to go. Woo! Stoked. It's kind of hard to believe that I've walked 300 miles already. Gosh, what mile we're at! <laughs> 300! How do you feel? All right. Pumped? Good. Do you feel like you've walked 300 miles? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, more or less. More or less. I felt like the first 100 miles, I felt like I walked 100 miles. Mm -hmm. The last 200 miles didn't feel like as many. The last 100 miles felt like it went by really quickly. Yeah, yeah. We did it! It's cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. You got it? Count to three. Then it takes your dress to the guy.
desert bells actually. Oh really? Yeah. There's a scorpion flower. <laughs> cool. It's not just a regular bridge, it's a rainbow bridge. Woo! Cross the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. Except there's no pot of gold at the end. So that's unfortunate. But oh well. I stroll along PCT. It's California golden chia. It's a California's native uh, chia, desert chia. Uh, it's chia seed, like, which is different from the kind that you get at the store, which is a Mexican uh, variety. So hmm. it's pretty cool. Cool. So can you eat it? Like, seeds. The seeds. Yeah, it's chia. I mean, it. You know, it's just a regular when it goes chia. to seed, it makes chia seeds. Oh, cool. Silverwood Lake. So we're at this beautiful picnic area and we got pizza! <laughs> and lights. <laughs> <laughs> Two large pizzas for the three of us. <laughs> Going down! Don't worry guys, these are happy tears. It's just like, I have spent so much time on this trail um, hiking with other people and that's been so amazing. And I'm hiking these five miles by myself and that is equally amazing. Because I think it's finally setting in that I'm out here living my dream and accomplishing something that I've wanted to do for so long. Um, and I'm so insanely proud of myself for doing that. And, you know, just starting and coming out here despite any fears or doubts. Um, I think in general, humans are afraid of the unknown things that we don't know. Something like this can be pretty terrifying because, you know, I wake up in the morning and I don't even know where I'm going to camp that night. And so there's so much uncertainty. But that's also one of the most beautiful things about this trail. There's just pure and utter freedom. You wake up you eat, you filter water, you eat some more, <laughs> you hike, you hike some more, you rest, you sleep, and that's all your obligations. And everything else is up to you. It's amazing, <laughs> and yeah, I don't, I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I think emotionally overwhelmed right now because I'm fin finally <laughs> embracing it all. I think the first couple weeks kind of feels like camp almost because you're surrounded by people and they're awesome and you have that help and support. But hiking alone, you just have so much time to think and feel and embrace it all. And <laughs> I'm definitely embracing it all right now. It's so beautiful and I'm so grateful for this opportunity and my parents and everyone else that has <laughs> helped me get to this point. It is so beautiful!
on top of this ridge right now and the wind is trying to blow me over but I'm still standing and it is so gorgeous oh my gosh I feel like I'm on top of the world just mountains all around me and these would usually be brown but so green and just these tree poppies everywhere it's insanely gorgeous I wish you could all see this for yourself San Gabriel Mountains just got above the clouds finally <laughs> it's pretty cool it almost feels like you're hiking in a dream hiking through the clouds and then coming out of them is like waking up and entering reality again but it's gorgeous so it is 10 a.m. right now um, I started hiking just after 7 a.m. and I've done nine miles so far and just under 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Um, so pretty good for a morning. It's super cloudy, which makes it easy to focus on hiking because you can't see that much around you. Uh, but it's still gorgeous. I am taking a little water break and am going to eat a complete cookie chocolate chip flavored I had the white chocolate macadamia nut this morning so I am fueling my way to Wrightwood on cookies <laughs> the guys were um, just packing up when I started hiking so they'll probably run into me later we'll see but I'm gonna try to go um, just over 20 miles today so that I can get into Wrightwood tomorrow. Usually when I take a break, I let my feet air out, so that is what I'm doing now. Um, it helps with the blisters. The blisters are doing okay, by the way. Um, my feet are just naturally blister prone. Um, I haven't been getting too many new blisters. I have a couple, but for the most part, um, it's just a matter of the ones that I had already healing up, which is... A slow go because you're hiking every day and you have to keep hiking every day and you want to keep hiking every day and so your feet don't get the chance to recover as much as is probably beneficial for them um, but the funny thing about pain out here is in the mornings you kind of wake up and it feels like ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to walk 16 or 18 or however many miles that day and then you get going and the pain just starts to fade away or you just start to forget about it I guess um, whether you're just thinking about other things or observing what's around you or talking to people so yeah it's um <laughs> it teaches you the trail just teaches you to keep going and persevere and push through because you really only have one option of things to do out here and that is keep hiking so you just keep hiking your way through all of these situations but yeah they're not too bad sometimes I'll take a step and I'll audibly scream <laughs> which is painful um, but most of the time it's not too terrible the funny thing is, love and pain really go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. And so, this thing that I love so much, hiking, also causes you a lot of pain in your feet and your body, etc. But your love almost always outweighs the negativity and the pain. And so, you keep going because you love it <laughs> so much. And really, that's just it. It's amazing. The clouds have cleared up a little bit and you can see mountains. Woo! 1230. I'm like 13 miles in and below me over here is the town of Wrightwood which is where I'll be tomorrow.
Oh, I love just how the trail, you can see so much in the distance. Like, you can see the trail go on for miles, or you can see towns that you're going to be in (laughs) from up above. It's amazing. I am jamming out to music, currently listening to Footloose, having some dance parties on the mountains. So don't worry about me because I am living life and having a blast.